Hello everyone, welcome back to a new episode on the Alma series. You are probably wondering what's with uh, this big uh, JCB and with this uh, Orcusin auto stack for uh, square bales and with all of those bales in, in our yard. Well, the tractor and trailer are, uh, are not mine. Uh, and there's a simple explanation behind that. When I started to work on, about, on the ideas about this episode, I was thinking initially to do an episode with some contracts, to knock off some contracts. But when I went to the contracts list, well, I found two contracts that I wanted to do, but decided to do both of them off camera. Why? Well, uh, both of them were bailing contracts and uh, if you've seen the last episode, you know that in the last episode we cut bale, silage bale, collected and everything on our grass field. So I didn't want to do another episode about me baling grass. That's, from my point of view, not fun to watch. So I decided to do those two contacts off camera. That's why we have this JCB here. It's not ours. It's uh, a tractor from one of the contracts together with the auto stackers so when we are going to collect the paycheck uh, for those two contracts they will disappear so let's go to the map and I'll show you what contracts uh, I did they were for field 40 which is this huge field over here and for field 38 on field 40 we did a hay contract, hay baling contract, and for field 38 we did the silage baling contract. And the contracts are now complete, all the bales are uh, delivered to the sell point or to our yard. And you can see here both the contracts are now completed, so let's collect them first of all. Because I rambled on enough. Uh, we have now over 60,000 in the bank. And again, if you've seen the last episode, you know that we have a loan. If we you didn't see it, go watch it. You'll understand where the loan is coming from. So let's repay this. And I will see you next day morning to see about what we're gonna do in this episode. Okay, so the rain stopped. We have nice and sunny sky. Uh, the contracts I knocked off the ones that we just collected they were huge i mean it took me hours to do them but it's okay i i like doing this kind of job uh, so first of all we need to check the status of our fields because i'm expecting the rye to be ready to harvest and it is see over here on field 9 and probably the peas will be ready to harvest tomorrow in game uh, our, our grass should show is ready to harvest, but it's not yet. Tomorrow will be also ready to harvest, so I'm going to cut it again and do, I don't know exactly, maybe some silage bales. So, the jobs for today. We need to start harvesting our rye. Uh, the sheep still have food, but we need to feed them again. Let's check on our productions as well. We have 12 thousand liters of ketchup in storage so I'm going to need to move those pallets, pallets at some point because the price I don't think is good right now should be good summer November December time to sell this we'll check in a moment on clothes we have all another full pallet almost the greenhouses still have water and we need to put some more wool into our spinnery so let uh, I said about checking the prices. So we need to check the prices for clothes. Thirteen thousand per thousand liters. That's uh, it's not almost. Uh, it's not as low as it can get, but almost. So we need to wait for March April time to sell the clothes, and for the ketchup, it's right here. We are now at two thousand three hundred. It's July, so it's as low as it can get so we need to wait for November to to sell it but we'll see I'm not gonna move it in, in this episode we still have some space 
in the production zone so it's okay for now but first of all let's jump into this telehandler over here and move these uh, pallets of wool to the spinnery we'll have another I don't know maybe 1600 liters in there so that will keep the production going then we can move to bales and put it in the ship feeding area so they will have food and keep going hey, uh, and I won't have to worry about them and then we can start the harvest uh, in regard of the harvest uh, I was thinking about putting a worker on it but since our productions uh, don't need to I don't need to do anything with my productions yet yeah I don't know also uh, you probably seen the thumbnail by now and you know if we end up doing this or not but I'm thinking about getting cows we now have enough bales I think also our silage bales finished fermenting by now no actually no mm -hmm. they're almost finished but okay we have these bales over here with, uh, which are already silage the bales that we got from the contract we have hay bales we have straw so we have everything that we need to make TMR for our house and that's probably what I'm going to do uh, I'll put probably a worker on the harvest on the harvester to harvest the rye and we are going to get cows but that will happen after I do a lap around the head so for now let's stop the engine and leave this here and let's go get the trailer the trailer I'm I don't know what I'm saying uh, let's get the harvester and the header and go to the rye field and start doing a lap around the headland. I will probably have to bring over the tractor and trailer to empty this before I finish one lap, but that's okay. And then we can uh, get a worker going on, on the harvest and we can start sorting off the cow situation oh and also we are harvesting rice so i'm hoping that we can feed the rice to the chicken we'll have to test that also in this uh, in this episode so yeah we'll harvest rice in this episode and take in some more livestock probably i'll put this on a time lapse and i will come back after we finish the first lap and we leave a worker going they tell me that i'm never gonna make it they want me to do something that can make sense they hate when i keep dreaming i'll be famous but i don't give a fuck i'ma keep chasing i got all this potential that's deep inside of me but they hate when you're successful because they try to be they sit there being just mental because you're trying things and they just want you to settle and do the right thing so get a good job, don't slack off Wake up every morning, make a good impression on your boss Don't do anything that I wouldn't do And when you're making money, make sure you don't spend it too soon <laughs> Fuck that, I'll do what I wanna do I got a different path from everyone and that includes you Who are you to tell me how to live life? In these times, it feels like nobody's right, yeah So I'ma figure out what else we succeed And then invest all of my time into that and proceed I need whatever the hell can make me happy And I don't think you have a clue what could that be They tell me that I'm never gonna make it They want me to do something that can make sense They hate when I keep dreaming I'll be famous But I don't give a fuck, I'm gonna keep chasing They tell me that I'm never gonna make it They want me to do something that can make sense They hate when I keep dreaming I'll be famous But I don't give a fuck, I'm gonna keep chasing I think this life could be special if Okay everyone, so one lap around the headland it's almost done. Actually it's uh, pretty much done right now. Uh, let's see if we can manage to do a straight line so we can set off the worker on it. Okay, let's go this way. Uh, this is a 45 degree angle, but uh, I think the worker can 
can do it like this. Uh, I'm gonna do this first uh, small part over here. Turn the harvester around. See where we need to position it. Probably somewhere along those lines. Somewhere around here. Cat is meowing next to me. I think he's hungry, so I'll have to stop a little bit and go feed him. But uh, before I do that, let's set the harvester off on a worker. And I'll have to momentarily bring the tractor and trailer over here because the harvester is at 60%. So let's actually go do that right now and we can unload after he turns around, after the worker turns around. And we, then we leave the worker with an empty hopper to continue harvesting and we will jump on uh, livestock. I mean, yeah, we are going to go and get some cows, buy some cows and start mixing some total mix ratio for, for them. Uh, if I remember correctly, but we'll check a little bit. I don't have a manure point, so I'm not gonna bother putting straw on the ground this time for uh, for the cows uh, we have all a silage point so that's good because we can use the silage to fertilize our fields we don't have a s silage spreader a silage sprayer but uh, it's not a problem actually it's uh, it's okay let's stop here for a little bit let's jump in here I think he's gonna make it to the end and turn around. Let's just wait a little bit with him and uh, and see how he's how he's doing. We can admire the harvester while we do that. While the AI worker turns around, let's uh, talk about a little bit of. Let's talk about this series a little bit. That's why what I wanted to say. I don't know why I cannot find my words tonight. Maybe I'm a little bit tired, but it's okay. Uh, we have, I think, one month and a half, plus minus a couple of days until the the new game will be released. Excuse me. So, we, I think I s talked about this a little bit in another episode. When Farming Simulator 25 will be released, I'm going to end both of my series that I'm doing on Farming Sim Simulator 22. So, uh, before that happens, look at me how stupid I am. I could have unloaded the, the harvester while the worker was coming this way. But no, I had to leave him turn around. I'm an idiot sometimes. Doesn't matter. Let's let's just stop the harvester and unload it. Okay, I was saying that farming simulator 25 is just around the corner, and when the game will be released, I'll jump all over it. I can't wait for it to be released. It has GPS in game. It has water buffaloes. It has rice. It has a lot of ground deformation, a lot of new features, and also, as far as I know, for now three new three maps: uh, Zielonka, the map we have right now, also on Farming Simulator 22, will be the European map on 25 in-game standard. We have Riverbend Springs, and we have an Asian map. I don't remember the the name right now, and uh, we'll have to jump on it. I mean, we'll start a Let's Play series uh, there, that's in the beginning, I'll go with only one series on Farming Simulator 25 in the beginning, and after some modes will get released, maybe another map will, will be released, then 
uh, I will start probably uh, let's play uh, start from scratch actually I want to say series I don't know I, I have some some plans to about the series that I'm going to do in Family Simulator 25 but until that comes we need to progress as much as we can on this series and on the other one so uh, let's first of all I wanted to close this get time gate but I'm not going to because the feed point for the cows it's in there so let's go to the other side and get some cows and also get the feed mixer because we have a silo king feed mixer tucked over here uh, it was standard with the map I didn't put it in it came it comes with the with the map when you start the game I don't remember what the capacity is for it let's see what we have in sale if we are here we have a Valtra Q it's a very nice tractor but I don't have that kind of money and we have a hardy delta force not gonna bother with it we just bought our sprayer last time and this one is not that much bigger okay so first of all let's get some cows we can fit 500 cows in here so that's a lot and I'm thinking about getting Holsteins I don't remember what kind of cows I have on the other series I think I have brown Swiss so let's get Holsteins on this one and how many should we get let's see because they're expensive and we don't have that much money we also need to keep some money to be able to buy chickens so 25 is too much we have money to get 25 but we don't we will run out of money and we won't have enough for workers and chicken and everything else so let's go with 20 for now and i will probably expand on the headcount on cows when we will sell our ketchup and our clothes so probably in the winter time let's buy this and have them delivered we now are the proud owners of 20 cows uh, I wanted to check earlier but I got distracted like usual how big is the feed mixer where do I find this trailers I don't remember where I can I can find the feed mixer or oh I think it's under animals my game has frozen for a little bit. I don't know why. Let's hope it works. Yeah, it recovered. I don't know what happened. So it's here. It's a 22,000 liters mixer. And I think our silage bales are 5,000 liters. Our hay bales are 8,000 liters. And probably our or 7000 liters and our straw bales uh, 8000 liters I don't remember so first of all we will try to do a mix using two silage bales one hay bale and in the end pad it with a straw bale or let's say maybe a, just a part of a straw bale we'll, we'll have to see but let's try out this mixture and see how how it works and we can maybe adjust it for uh, for next time maybe if it's not okay i want to be able to figure out what i need to put in here so then i can speed up the process so we have one silage bale we'll put another one uh, if i lower my forks enough we'll put another one we also will have to will have to jump to the other tractor to cart the the ride because uh, I just saw the prompt in the corner of the screen saying that the harvester is almost full so let's actually do that uh, right now because he's approaching the end I think he should have enough space to get to the end maybe if he doesn't it's okay then I'll just empty it as is yeah I think I'll have to empty it. yep 
let's empty the uh, the combine harvester i think we are going to get a lot of rye out of this field which has did maybe one quarter of the field and we already have a full trailer but uh, yeah that's not bad if we will be able to feed this rye to the chicken it will be perfect because we will have food for a couple of years and i won't have to bother putting in wheat or barley in the ground again actually i'm not planning for the next year crop ro crop, ro crop rotation i was thinking of putting in canola and maybe some soybeans i'll think about it i'm also thinking about putting in corn but eh, i don't have enough money to get the corn dryer just yet so probably it will be canola and soybeans two crops that i can get money out of that's what i'm thinking at least right now let's go and empty this trailer in our silo and then we can get back to the feed mixing for the cows yeah and i was saying about farming simulator 25 yeah i'll jump on that end this series so we have to progress as much as possible i mean in a month and a half at the pace i'm recording right now it will be probably another five to ten episodes but then i think it's the max uh, right now i have a lot of work to do in my personal life in my real life so i don't have enough time to be able to record more than one episode per week especially if i end up doing some work off camera like i did uh, before i started recording this uh, yeah i don't have enough time so i'm going with two episodes per week one on this series and one on the other series i don't know if that will change before the new game will will be here so that's why i think we will only have five to ten more episodes on this but I'll try to do maybe as much work as I can off camera to be able to progress and I will also skip time I mean I'm not going to do that uh, what, what are they called contracts that many contracts on here so after we redrill our fields I will keep up with cutting the grass and making bales because we now have some livestock and we need to be able to feed them uh, but other than that I will just keep time I'm not going to bother with contracts I'm not going to bother with anything else I will just keep up with my productions and with feeding the uh, animals and that will be it I mean yeah so then we can get at least one more harvest season out of this series let's stop the engine right here and jump back to the uh, telehandler i've put two actually i can check i think i put two silage bales in the trailer let's see how much silage we have in here I have 11,000 liters of silage so they are 5,500 liters each bale so two bales of silage and one bale of hay should be enough and then i think i can pad the mixture up with uh, with a little bit of straw but uh, i don't think a full bale of straw will fit in there so uh, actually oh the straw bales it are smaller than the square hay bales Okay, that's interesting. Very interesting. Uh, let's put a food bale in here and see what happens. If needed, I'll... Uh, yeah, but I need this menu. Uh, yeah, I think we are going to be okay. So you can see in the bottom right corner we have total mixed ratio let's go feed the cows deep side it's on the left so it's okay let's get in here and start putting food down 
let's see what happens with the total mix ratio after all the straw it's consumed but i think it should be okay yeah it's perfect already the combined harvester has a full grain tank again but first before i jump to that let's check on the food so yeah we have some food and we also put some straw down somehow that it doesn't matter uh it's okay now let's turn off this menu first because i don't like it let's jump to this tractor and empty the harvester oh this time it should have the pipe the right way so i won't have to stop the worker again i can just empty it that's perfect and the worker is doing a very good job i mean uh, he just missed a little tiny bit on that corner over there but that was to be expected but other than that he's doing a great job and i'm happy about it because i don't have to clean up his mess at the end <laughs> let's put it out like this okay so let's empty on the move and then we can go and make a little bit more food for our cows i don't know i'll do a, a time lapse and do a couple more loads of total mix ratio and then if the rifle is finished we can see about the that chicken text testing okay now it's empty let's jump back into this tractor and get the trailer out and i'll go this way this time and position the trailer somewhere around here let's get silage bales we need to get two silage bales The mixture uh, that I'm doing right now, it's not perfect. You saw that the part of the straw that we had in in our feed mixer uh, got put down as straw, and they are using for using it for bedding. But that's not, not a problem. We have a lot of straw, and we will have a lot more straw after I finish baling the straw from the rye field. I'll do that off camera. Of course, I did a lot of baling lately on camera on both my series so i'm not gonna i'm not gonna record that i'm just gonna do it do it off camera but yeah let's start time lapse in this let's get some more food into the cow's trough and i will see you back here in a bit Fuck me, I'm looking in the mirror So foggy, but I've never seen clearer I don't really think anyone can save me And honestly, I'm not really sure I want saving I like to be my own worst enemy There's no risk if you don't try at anything So I'ma just get by in everything See you in the next life, hope to be a better me I don't think that my head's on straight Gotta flip it and grip it and go and get an x-ray What's wrong with me? I just feel way Pushing on my chest and it squeeze till I suffocate Better change my mindset, meditate It's pretty cool that I'm alive and have better days I could walk, see, here, I should celebrate Think I could change my mind, maybe elevate Living life, every day, late at night Not okay, all I want, and I pray All I need, are some better days Yeah, all I need, are some better days Cause all I want, and I pray I believe in the better yeah. day Kinda stuck between a rock and a hard place Do I work hard or live at my pace? You're only young once, yeah that's all great But I also want a future where I'm okay Living life is doing lots of cocaine Wait no, it's living with no shame Wait no, it's sleeping in on Sundays I guess it's different for each of us and it's okay Well I just wanna be happy, how to get there? Hmm, glad that you asked me 
I think it's different for everyone Some of us need work, others need fun Some of us need purpose to overcome But try to do what you love when it's said and done Cause there's so many differences in each of us Trust your gut, it can show you what you want Living life, every day, late at night Not okay, all I want And I pray, all I need are some better days Yeah, all I need are some better days Cause all I want, and I pray I believe in the better days Okay guys, so uh, we now have, we should have after we finish unloading this TMR load, we have 115 almost thousand liters of food. Uh, the milk production is has already started, the slurry production has already started, so that's good, and we only have 20 cows. So let's go do one more mixture, and uh, after that we can move to finishing the rye harvest. I mean the yield on that, it's amazing. I already transported, as you, I'm sure you saw, <coughs> another full trailer load. To, to our silo, so that's very good. Uh, and I think I will have at least one more full trailer load of rye. So let's do this mixture. I'll get just this one done and then I will mix some more TMR, but I'm gonna do it off camera because it's a, rep a repetitive job and it's not that nice to to watch i mean i don't think you want to watch me mix tmr for half an hour in a time lapse so i'm gonna continue that off camera also the straw bale i'll do off camera i think i already said that i think okay so we put the silage in we put the hay in let's also put some more straw but with straw this time I'm gonna just do like this you can see the straw going down from the bottom right corner so the it's been filling and we still have 1500 liters of straw I'll put it here we can turn off the engine on this one let's get in here and unload this I'm amazed but about how much food this uh, cow barn can take in but actually it makes sense to be able to put this much food in because the capacity of it you saw when we bought the cows it's 500 heads so it's very big so yeah, we should be able to put a lot of food in there because if we manage to get some more cows and now I'm not thinking 500, I'm thinking about probably 50 they will consume the food, I think at a high rate so let's leave this here, let's go take a look at the cows and then we can go and load the combined harvester again the cows are very pretty they black and white okay let's jump into this tractor over here of course our ogre is on the wrong side again okay that's not a problem i will stop the worker and take over the combine harvester <coughs> i don't want to pay this worker anymore he did a very good job but it's time for me to take over. Let's empty this. I will start the time lapse right now and I will see you back when we finish this.
Okay everyone, now the Rai is off the field. It took some time but we managed to, to finish harvesting it. Uh, let's empty the hopper of the combined harvester into this trailer over here. And uh, I was thinking where to put the harvester because I'm not gonna put it back in the in the shed. It's not it's not worth it because in the next episode we will most likely let's say it like that have the bees to harvest so it's not worth putting it back in the shed i'm probably going to leave it somewhere next to the spinnery so let's go do that uh, i'm looking at the diesel tank i think we should put some more diesel into this harvester because i'm not expecting to change it anytime soon not because I don't want to and don't get me wrong this is a great harvester but uh, I don't see us having the money to buy another harvester maybe if something comes up in the sale at a very good price and if we sell this one and replace it with the one in the sale maybe that that's the way to to go about it but uh, on this series I don't remember having the harvester in the sales they're, they're coming up very rare on there I don't know why but okay doesn't matter actually so let's go put some fuel into this we have our uh, trusty fuel source next to the big shed and then I'm gonna park it somewhere and the last thing that we are going to do in this episode is test if we can feed right to the chicken. And how I'm going to go about it? Well, do we still have diesel? Yes. Uh, I'm going to buy one chicken and see if we can feed right if we can that's okay we're gonna buy more if we don't i'm gonna sell the chicken again and uh, it is what it is uh, i think it's enough diesel for now it's almost full not entirely full but almost full so let's park this thing over here and jump into the john deere tractor and go to the chicken coop to test the theory also i'm going to off camera of course bale all this straw that we have in this field uh, i'm gonna collect the bales but i'm not going to keep all of them uh, i'm going to keep i think one full auto stacker load just to be on the safe side and the rest of the bales i'm going to sell i don't know how much money we are going to make out of that's true I'm not expecting anything huge so our money will be will go a little bit up until the next episode uh, but uh, yeah I'm going to sell them I'm definitely not going to keep them because we still have almost two full loads two full trailer loads of straw over there and we're not using that much of out of it so yeah, it doesn't, it's does, it doesn't, it's not worth it to keep all of it. Okay, so let's test this. Let's buy one chicken. It's 55 to, to get one. This chicken coop holds a thousand, so that's good. Very good. Let's see if we can feed the right way. If we can, then I'm thinking about getting somewhere around 100, 150 chicken. I hope I have enough money for it. But yeah, I was actually getting my hopes up for this, but we cannot fit right to the chicken. Uh, no, that's not good, but I cannot do anything about it. So it is what it is. We are not going to get chicken as of now. Let's go put the rye in the uh, side. Actually, what's the price for rye right now? And when's the best time to sell it? 
Uh, I don't know where the rye should be. Rye, 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 rye. Rye, it's here. Uh, right now it's 621 with, if we take it by train and the best price, of course, it's in December. So let's store this. Also, let's check it for peas if we are here. The best price for peas, actually it's in June, but in January should be close. Okay, we'll see when we sell the peas, if we are desperate for money, I'm going to sell it probably in January. If we are not desperate for money, I think I'm gonna wait for June, but uh, we'll have to see. I'm not deciding that for sure right now. Let's put this here. Uh, I don't know if we have any, we need, uh, for the next harvest season, we need to plant wheat or barley on one of our fields to be able to get chicken. But I'm thinking, okay, we had a grain crop in here. I'm not going to put a grain crop probably in this field. I'm going to put canola and this field, I think is too big to put wheat on. I mean... Uh, it's doable, but we will have a lot of carting to do. Let's check what crops we have in the neighboring fields. We have oats in here. We have nothing in here because it's harvested. Yes. Do we have wheat anywhere? We have wheat. I think this is wheat. Yes, we have wheat in 31, but 31 it's 300,000. So it's a little bit on the pricey side for me. Yeah, we don't have wheat anywhere. I was thinking about buying maybe a small field like 15 over here. It's 91,000, so I could have taken out a loan and bought that, but uh, it doesn't, it's not worth it. Field two, I think has, actually, what is this? It's also rye, I think. Yeah, field two has rye in it, so I'm not gonna bother with that right now. Uh, so yeah, we don't have an option to get a field that we can harvest to feed the chicken, so we are not gonna get chicken this year, we're gonna get chicken next year. I don't want to buy chicken food that thing, it's expensive. Okay. So I'm going to end this episode here, like I said, off camera I will continue with the straw baling and I'll do a couple more mixes of TMR to feed the, the cows. I want to maybe not fully fill their trough, but be as close as possible. Uh, so I still, you are still enjoying this series, if you do please give us a like. If you want to watch more of my videos, subscribe to the channel. And in the end, I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.